What's going on, bull runners? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to give you guys three explosive altcoins that I'm buying for the month of July. I see a lot of potential in these altcoins, not just only for July, but for the rest of this bull run with the recent sell-off that's taking place right now in the market. I'm going to share my outlook on what I expect to happen next. And it's heating up out here, not only in Miami, Florida, but in the crypto space right now. So you need to be ready for what's about to come. So comment 777 if you guys are feeling blessed if you're feeling bullish and if you're going to become the first millionaire in your family tree you know what to do confirm it by tapping the subscribe button let's run it all right bull runners welcome back so let's dive into the top three altcoins that i'm putting my own money into in july that i'm excited about for the rest of this bull run now as always this is not financial advice I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own research. Crypto is very, very risky. You could lose money in these projects and you could lose money in this industry in general. So as always, these videos are purely for educational, informational purposes only. I always share with you guys what I believe in, what I'm buying, but that doesn't constitute as a recommendation for you to do the same. In fact, don't buy, don't sell anything we talk about on this channel. Just watch this for educational purposes only. So with that being said, the first altcoin is Landrocker, LRT. Now, despite the market's recent sell-off, LRT's price has remained pretty stable and the market cap is still a micro cap, right around $3 million right now. I believe it's under $3 million at the time of making this video. And LRT is actually up 14% the past week while virtually every other altcoin is down somewhere between 20 to 50%. So it's currently outperforming the rest of the market during this sell-off. and. They have a listing that's coming up on Bing X at about, I think it's 12 p.m. Eastern time on July 9th that you have to be ready for. And that should be a very big event because that adds more trading volume with market makers that watch for new projects on these exchanges. And so with that exchange coming, they have other exchanges in the pipeline as well too. And as you guys know, with micro cap projects, they're very, very risky, but the reward for these projects is absolutely massive. And if you look on CoinMarketCap, Bing X has a spot trading volume the last 24 hours of nearly $300 million. So it's not a very small exchange, it's pretty big, and there's a lot of market makers on there. So their marketplace as well too is gonna to be launching a limited number of Rover NFTs for sale between about one to three days after their listing that's gonna be available for a limited time and in limited quantities as well too. And once they're gone, they're not gonna be sold again. So as the NFT space starts to come back towards the later stage of this bull run, then they're positioning themselves properly to be able to capitalize from that. And they're saying uh, a certain amount of lucky NFT holders with rovers from this collection will gain access to exclusive rewards and giveaways they just posted on their Twitter. So you guys wanna make sure you follow their Twitter and you pay close attention to their updates because they just updated their new roadmap and it's live and shows live updates, which is actually uh, the first time in Web3 industry, I'm not aware of any other project that has a project uh, roadmap with live daily updates. And so if you check out what's in progress, you'll see that they are relentless with game developments to make the experience, experience much better for the players and the gamers, which ultimately leads to more people using LRT as their in-game currency. So there's an actual utility to LRT rather than a lot of these other crypto projects out there. And so as more people start to play the game, they use the currency, they start to see how their ecosystem works, then they're gonna believe in it a lot more. And early investors who participate in their launch have already seen returns of 500% upwards of 1000% and the token is still in micro cap. So it did a 10X within like the first 24 hours out of launch. So it did very, very well and it's still holding a strong support. Now they launched the LRT token while Bitcoin was selling off from $70,000 during this temporary downtrend. But the token's price action, the chart, looks very, very great right now. And their team is also gearing up to launch the world's first fully sustainable play to earn game backed by an AI trained game economy that's been refined through billions of simulations and data sets. So this is some next level stuff for development here behind their game. And Landrocker is one of the exceptions that launched its token LRT at the same time as the game release, which virtually no project does. You know, what most gaming projects in the GameFi or play to earn gaming space do is they usually launch their token first to raise a bunch of capital. Then they try to develop a game after with the money that they raise, which rarely works out because it takes years to develop a game to make it really good. And then they eventually 
run out of money. And so the reason why they can do this is because the parent company behind Land Rocker is called Infinite 8, and they have a massive studio with 20 plus years of experience in game development, deep resources, massive team, and Land Rocker is their main focus right now. And Land Rocker is also an official partner of IMX, which is the largest crypto gaming project in the industry right now. So that will help their adoption this bull run as IMX grows because you know as IMX gains more adoption, the market cap grows, well then their official partners uh, are gonna gain some attention as well too. Now that's obviously not a guarantee that it's gonna do well, but these are the reasons why I'm accumulating LRT and you should always do your own research because as more investors come back into this space during the belief, thrill and euphoria stage of the market, play to earn gaming projects are going to absolutely explode in my opinion. Now the next altcoin on the list is Andy on base. Now for those of you that are unfamiliar with the base ecosystem, it's a new secure low cost builder friendly Ethereum L2 built to bring the next billion users on chain. That's what they say on their website. Now, if their goal, if Coinbase's goal is to bring a billion users on chain, even if they hit just 10% of their goal, that's a hundred million users. With over 100 million users at Coinbase right now, and less than 10 million on base, there's massive room to grow from here. That would be over a 10X just for the base chain alone. And right now, the base chain only has about $1.3 billion the last time that I checked in total value locked when you go to DeFiLlama.com. So if they 10X their user base it, with how liquidity pools work, that would probably 20 to 100x a lot of the projects on the base chain because obviously you know when you have these liquidity pools at like you know a hundred thousand a million dollars five million dollars ten million dollars whatever the locked liquidity is well let's just say for example nine ninety million users coming on chain with an average you know spend of a hundred dollars that's like nine billion dollars and with them having only 1.3 billion dollars total value lock that would exponentially grow a lot of the projects on chain and so Andy on base is one of the top meme coins next to Brett. Now, Brett has a $1.2 billion market cap and Andy only has a $14 million market cap. And it also surged to 40 million with Bitcoin's rally and is pulling back right now with the rest of the market. So pullbacks like these, what I take it as and what I see it as is an opportunity for me personally to back up the truck for more crypto. And to put this into perspective for you, during the peak of the last bull run, if you were around for that bull run, the Binance Smart Chain had over $20 billion in total value locked on DeFi Llama. And if you guys were around for that bull run, you saw how parabolic a lot of the projects, specifically how parabolic a lot of the meme coins went on the BNB chain. And the BNB chain operates as a community-driven open source ecosystem distinct from Binance's centralized structure. So when we talk about Coinbase, well, Coinbase had the number one app in the app store last year and they didn't really have the base chain last time so with coinbase creating and pushing the base chain heavily for this bull run as the coinbase app climbs in the app store brett is going to be their main meme coin that they're focusing on as you can see in a lot of their marketing images they've been putting brett front and center so what does that mean for andy well brett is part of the boys club and andy is also part of the boys club one, one of these characters or four of these characters not one of them uh, that was created by Matt Fury. Now, Matt Fury is a big artist that constructed this whole comic series with Pepe. And as you know, Pepe is over a billion dollars in market cap. Brett crossed a billion dollars in market cap. Andy, which currently has a 14 million, which is virtually nothing, it's another micro cap. And then Landwolf. Now, Landwolf on base, I think is it like a 3 million market cap. It's a lot higher risk, obviously. These two are lower market cap projects, but that's the fourth member of the boys club. It's the lowest market cap. Uh, and he's one of the guys. So I'm treating this project as something that's either gonna pull a 50 to 100X or it's gonna go to absolute zero. So just understand that very, very risky. Obviously it's a meme coin, so take it with a grain of salt. But if Brett does very well, if the base chain does very well, as a lot of people are expecting, then I could see Andy doing very, very well and doing upwards of a 50 or even 100X, it's possible. Now, long-term, what I'm the most bullish on is of course XRP. Now, the reason why I talk about XRP so much is because number one, They've been through one of the most ridiculous lawsuits I've ever seen in my life the past few years that's been suppressing the price of XRP. And the lawsuit is so close to coming to an end for a settlement, it's ridiculous. So for a lot of people to be selling XRP right now, they've completely lost their mind. Now, Ripple is also coming out with Real USD, their stable coin, later this year. And they've been running trials with the NASDAQ, the second largest stock exchange in the world. So the real question is, 
Will stocks soon be tokenized on the XRP ledger? I think we're going to see a lot of big news come out over the next few months about that. And Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO, has said there will most likely be an XRP ETF coming in the near future. Larry Fink says there's going to be other ETFs and uh, ETFs are the stepping stone for tokenization on the blockchain. And Ripple is also working with over 10 central banks to improve the current financial system. In the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa have already built out the new digital currency rails that does not use the SWIFT system because the United States can sanction countries like Russia, which they already did, you know, for invading Ukraine from the SWIFT system. So they had to find another solution. And as you know, you know, Russia's not just going to back down. They're going to form allies. And XRP is the best bridge currency for it all to bridge global liquidity. It's not there to replace fiat currencies. It's not there to replace the U.S. dollar. It's there to complement global trade to make it faster. Because as you guys know, it takes three to five days for like an ACH or a wire transfer, not including weekends. So right now with it being, you know, Saturday, well, good luck sending money on a Saturday and a Sunday. So the banking system has to be overhauled. It's inevitable. It's only a matter of time. So Brad announced a partnership recently with SBI Group in Japan and SBI CEO said every single bank in Japan will use XRP by 2025. He didn't just say Ripple's technology. He said every single bank in Japan will use XRP by 2025. Now, whether that's his prediction or whether that's the truth will remain to be seen. But if the CEO of one of the largest companies over there is saying that, well, if every bank in Japan, let's just say like half the banks in Japan or 10% of the banks in Japan use XRP, that by 2025, guys, that's that's in the next year. Well, that's in the next like six, seven months. That means that XRP will be used by thousands of banks around the world because Japan does business globally. Their banks send money globally. So if Japan is using XRP, then that means other countries are most likely going to use XRP, which I could be wrong about, but XRP has already been declared to not be a security on the secondary market. So I could go on and on and on. Brad Garlinghouse announced that they're working with over 10 central banks around the world. I was out in Dubai for the Ripple, when the Ripple Swell event was going on. I saw Ripple advertisements everywhere. Advertisements are all the way in New York. Dubai approved XRP with their uh, Dubai Financial Services Authority uh, to basically do business out there for the banks. So the matter of fact is this, guys. By 2025, there's going to be such a massive injection of liquidity into the crypto market that smart money has been accumulating this dip like never before. Dumb money, you know, like Germany that's been selling off. And I don't think the German government has made a smart decision ever since Hitler rose to power. So, you know, them selling off is actually bullish news for the market. And this could quite possibly be the last chance to accumulate at these prices before we take off. Now, if Bitcoin goes even lower and altcoins see a bigger sell off, then that's even better because I'll be backing up my truck all the way to the bank grabbing the bags, packing them, stacking them, leaving no bags left behind because I believe the spending power of the dollar is just going to keep going down in value. And that's so far been a fact, not a theory based on inflation. Blockchain technology, distributed ledger technology, cryptocurrencies have been going up in value over time. That's the truth. It's also a fact. And together, you know where we're going. We're going camping on the beaches of the moon. So I'll see you guys on the next video. I will see you on bullrunners.com. As always, you know what to do. Stay bullish. So if you're ready to become the first millionaire in your family tree with crypto and you want to get early access to our underground guidebook to become a crypto millionaire when it's released, then all you need to do right now is go to bullrunners.com and you're going to get exclusive early access to alerts on explosive altcoins with timely notifications about high potential projects before they hit the mainstream market. You're also going to get access to daily market analysis videos where you can watch daily videos like this to stay up to date on the latest trends and updates in the cryptocurrency market. And you're also going to receive pro trading strategies and tools for you to access proven trading tips and institutional grade indicators to refine your trading strategy. So don't miss out on the launch of our new underground guidebook called Altcoin Secrets that's going to help you discover the next 100x altcoin. All you need to do to get early access is go to bullrunners.com, click the button on the page, put in your best email address, and you'll be instantly subscribed for the early bird list when it's released. We know you're going to love it.